Out of the frying pan. Looks like word of our prison break got out before we did. In the eyes of the Empire, you and your friend are escaped convicts. I guess that makes me the traitor that set you free. What an honor. The good news is that General Hondu's estate isn't far. The bad news is that it's surrounded by soldiers, mostly of the young, brash, stab first and ask questions later variety. Whatever happens, don't let them take Namsuyu. Captain, I think we've been spotted. We have you surrounded. Surrender or face the wrath of the Stratus, the Stratus Elite, Elite Guard. Guard? Who is this guy? We'll handle this. Please stay back. Thank you. Be careful. The quicker we deal with them, the fewer reinforcements we face later. I have to do this. I'm not leaving much choice. Stand down! Work together. We're fine, thank you. It's an honor, your honor. Watch out, there's more coming. Halt! Drop your weapons! We don't have time for this. Back away. Don't let them escape! Let's go. I'm good. Yes, Captain. I have no qualms with you, soldier. Out this. of our way. <laughs> Most of the soldiers are heading toward the prison, but it looks like the guards have doubled up as well. Either that or General Hondu has become paranoid. The authorities should still be under the assumption that we're trying to escape or hide. The home of a disgraced high-profile general should not be a place of interest. I'll scale this wall and open the east gate. You're welcome to come if you like. Sure, why not? You were with me the last time I broke into the home of a high-ranking government official. Let's hope things go smoother this time around. Keep an eye on Her Majesty. We'll secure the courtyard. Meet us at the East Gate. Yes, Captain. Watch your step. This courtyard has seen better days. General Hondu has really let this place go. Either that or the Dowager has cut off any funds to maintain the grounds. Either way, his guards are still here and they aren't going to let us through in light of recent events. If we're going to see the general, we're going to have to take out his guards. Just subdue and silence them. Don't kill them. Too many have died already. In time, they'll understand. Let's get this over with. gate. Yeah. 
If I recall, there's a side exit that leads to his office. Hurry, let's go! guards at that gate as well it was bound to happen princess uh i mean uh, your majesty please stay back while we subdue these guards Keep a sharp eye. Yes, Captain. No problem. And who in the realms are you? You. You've got two seconds to talk! General Hondu, please forgive our intrusion. I would not have come to you like this if it were not a matter of utmost urgency. What could possibly justify this insanity? With all due respect, General, I believe this warrior may be able huh? to explain better than I can. This is the I prisoner can. who escaped? You dare to enter my quarters after flaunting the law and breaking out of prison? That's either courage or full-on stupidity. All right. You've got my attention. What is it you have to say? Divine mandate ceremony? You're more than stupid, you're insane! You expect me to defy the Dowager and stop the ceremony? Enough of this! An escaped convict speaking of treason deserves no audience from me. I should run you through where you stand. Perhaps the prison wardens won't execute you outright if you surrender. But I wouldn't count on it, especially if you mention this divine mandate madness. The Dowager is deceiving us all, General. This woman may be living proof. Is that so? What's this proof you speak of? You fill this palace with even more lies! And who might you be? Another member of this circus? I am Nam Soyu, lost daughter of Nam Salin, and the rightful inheritor of the Stratus lineage. Ha! This has gone from insanity to a complete farce. I call your bluff. I happen to have something which will expose your lies. The Wan D Compass. Prove you're the rightful heir with your blood. Even if what you say is true, this heir, Nam Soyu, is no solution. She only adds to the problem. The Dowager will either use her or kill her. I know the Dowager is power-hungry and foolish enough to attempt the Divine Mandate Ceremony. But even a man in my position cannot stop it. She is too powerful, has too many loyalists. Your best option may be to petition the Prince directly, especially if he and Nam Soyu share a bloodline. Arranging a meeting is the right thing to do. But that's the extent of my goodwill. If Prince Subin refuses to listen, you must leave Gunwan and never return. Dowager Tehu and the Ebon Drake have put the entire Empire at risk. She's evil, General, and she's deceived you all. Evil is only defined by whoever is in power. 
Even if what you say is true, how will you expose an entrenched evil such as the Dowagers? Good. We cannot allow Namsoyu to fall into the Dowager's hands. As for you, I will take you to the Inner Keep to meet Prince Subin, and we'll settle this one way or another. All of you, stay safe. Thank you. We arrive in time. One thing you should know before we start this foolishness. The Inner Keep is past the North Guard post. The guards verify the identity of anyone they don't recognize. I can deal with the guards at the entrance, but the guard captain is another story. I trained him well. He'll insist on doing things by the book. That said, I do have one idea. I can introduce you to the captain as the member of a potential military alliance. Matters for the proper military override palace guard concerns. Or at least I hope they will. If we fail, he won't hesitate to turn his guards on you. But if you stick to the script, we might just get out of this with our heads. Come on. Stay behind.